First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Real Talk here on TV 35. I'm your host, Pat Brock, and we've got the beautiful Miss Kelly Cook with us, who is the director of the Cardiac and Pulmonary Rehab Services here at Fairview Park Hospital. And next week is Cardiac National Cardiac Rehab Week. That's right. Oh, my yeah, gosh. We're excited. Kelly, um, listen, we want to hear about you, though. We want to talk about you and the work that you do and have been doing here in this facility. And talk to us about your staff. Okay. Well, my name is Kelly Cook, and I'm the director of the Cardiac and Pulmonary Rehab Services Program here at the hospital. Um, I've been here for 22 years mm -hmm. now and um, love have loved every minute of it. Yeah. Um, I am married to Rob Cook, mm -hmm. and we have two children, Alex, who is 17 right. and a senior this year, and then Olivia, who I know is <laughs> it is very difficult, um, and then Olivia, who is 14, and she's an eighth grader, so she'll be going to the high school next year. Very nice. Nice, very so, nice. And so um, here you've been doing this for quite some time mm -hmm. and your background is uh, exercise science. That's right. And so this facility here, which is so beautiful. Thank you. You've got a lot of different uh, different areas. Share mm -hmm. with us. Um, share with us about your staff here that you have. Okay. Um, so the cardiac with the cardiac and pulmonary rehab, we have got our nurse. We have one nurse here who mm -hmm. um, Gwen Upshaw and she has been a nurse um, for a very long time. Right, she right. started with the hospital and has been here and she's a wonderful, wonderful nurse. Um, then we have two respiratory therapists. Mm -hmm. um, one, Amanda Spivey, she runs our pulmonary. She does the pulmonary mm -hmm. rehab for me. And then um, Lindy Lovett, who is a respiratory therapist, and she does um, the cardiac and pulmonary rehab with us also. Very nice. And with you being part of Fairview Park, but there are also other patients that you receive outside of this. Mm -hmm. So what is the catchment area for the clients that you see? Okay. For um, our patients, a lot of them come from the hospital here because mm -hmm. we do have the heart center here where we do stent placement and mm -hmm. um, we see when we have patients come in with heart attacks and whatnot, we have a lot of patients who come from this area. Mm -hmm. Our local um, cardiologist will refer them. Um, we have cardiologists that come in from Macon that practice here also. Mm -hmm. And then our, our local primary care doctors will refer patients also with us. Then we also get patients from the surrounding area. We get them from Macon. Mm -hmm. um, we've gotten referrals from Augusta, from Atlanta. If the patient lives in this area, the physician will refer them to our program here so that they don't, because they're traveling, so they don't mm -hmm. have to travel too far. Very good. And you know, um, with this, uh, the Cardiac Rehab Week, mm -hmm. this is a special time. Right. This is a time, too, where um, you all are able to share about so many different things concerning our heart health, mm -hmm. preventative things that mm -hmm. we could do. Right. And we do, during this week, we just like to really... Um, bring attention to the cardiac rehab program, to mm -hmm. why we're here, who we're serving, um, to get the word out because cardiac rehab is really an underutilized program. Mm -hmm. um, right. We don't get the referrals um, and, and we're not, I'm not really sure where the, where it lacks. Um, right. A lot of times the distance, the travel sometimes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm getting um, the physicians to remember to refer sometimes is, is an issue because they've got a lot of stuff to take care of and getting right. the patient sent. So we really try to, during this week, just try to really make a lot of um, notice to the program mm -hmm. that we're here and, and why we're serving the patients that we do. Very good. Now, so before you were not housed in this particular building, is that correct? Well, we were when we when I first came here 22 years ago, which From, is unbelievable, right. a long time ago. We actually were in the fitness center. A lot of people are familiar with Fairview Park Hospital, um, with the fitness center. It's mm -hmm. connected with the hospital here, so we were first located there, mm -hmm. and then we moved um, to another room in that in that same area over mm -hmm. there. And now we're in this area here, which has just been wonderful. So we're in the same building, mm -hmm. but we've just we have our own space, our own entrance now, mm -hmm. um, and just a beautiful facility for the patients to exercise. In. And, you know, speaking of this facility, we want to kind of get a little tour of it mm -hmm. and so that you can okay. kind of show us uh, the different equipment that you use and what a patient uh, or a client could expect from you mm -hmm. when we come here. Okay. 
All right, so you right. ready to kind of take a walk around? We can. Yes, right, we'll take definitely. a ride. Okay, all right. All right, I'd like to now just give you a tour of our facility and to show you what we um, have to offer here for our patients and what the equipment's for, why we use it for certain patients and just kind of let you see what's in our facility here. So the first pieces of equipment I'm gonna show you is our what we call cardiovascular equipment. It works the heart and lungs. Um, you use this equipment to elevate your heart rate while you're exercising and it will get that heart muscle stronger. So down this line right here, we have what we call, we have a recumbent bike that um, works really the legs along with the heart and lungs. Then we have our aerodyne bikes and on the aerodyne bikes, they have handlebars on here that work the upper and body. So that's good when patients, when we need to work their upper body strength, will they will use the upper body or the upper arms and the lower. So these are our bike section here. A lot of our patients who have um, maybe some orthopedic issues with their knees and stuff will do better on a bike than necessarily walking on the treadmill because it's not as weight bearing. It takes that weight off and they can um, exercise better on the bike. So this is our bike section here that we have. Then we come along here and on the back row back here we have the treadmills and I know a lot of people are familiar with, with the treadmills and with our patients when they use the treadmill, a lot of times we'll start them out. I tell patients, you know, we're gonna walk on a treadmill. Well, they get really scared because they think they're gonna do a stress test and we don't do anything like a stress test in here. We start the patient off at a pretty low level and they'll gradually work their way up as they exercise and get stronger. But we do offer, um, a lot of our patients will use the treadmill because we want them to get back into being able to walk again and being able to go distance um, with the walking. So we'll use the treadmill. So this is the treadmill section over there. And then on the far end of the room over here um, is a very popular machine that we use. And this is our new step machines. We have three of them. We have this one, this one, and the one back here in the corner. The new step machine is a cardiovascular machine also, and it is used to um, strengthen the heart and lungs. We put patients on here, they build up for like 20 minutes, they'll stay on this machine. The, the real benefit of this machine here is one, um, a patient again who has orthopedic issues and can't walk on a treadmill for whatever reason, the new step is a very um, non weight bearing exercise, it doesn't hurt the joints, it's really good for the joints. And then also our patients who have a lot of um, difficulties or fear of walking on a treadmill, this is a really good alternative for them also. This machine also works the upper body, it has the handlebar, so it works the upper body and the lower body as they exercise, and it's working the heart and lungs. So that's the one part of our program is the cardiovascular where we're working their heart and lung system. The second part um, is here in the center that you'll see, and this is our weight um, exercises that we do, the weightlifting exercises. It's very important as a patient gets older, and we are all aging, so it's really important for all of us to keep in mind to, that we need to strengthen our muscles and our bones. The older we get, we lose muscle mass and we lose bone density. So we need, to do, we need to strengthen those, and the way that you do that is through weight-bearing exercises. So what we do with this piece here 
is we will go all the way around on here. They will start here with their leg exercises and we'll work each muscle group. We work the front and back of the legs. We work right here with the dumbbells. We'll work um, the arm muscles, the shoulder muscles. We come around here to this side and we can work their back um, exercises here with the back exercises. And then we go around to the far side and we can work their chest and their chest muscles, their shoulders and their arms. So we have a complete, well-rounded um, exercise to work each muscle group in the body and to keep that patient strong so that they can continue doing their daily activities, whether it be you know, grocery shopping or cleaning their house or playing with their grandchildren, whatever the, the exercise or whatever their activity is, this will help keep them strong so that they can do that. Um, when the patient comes into the facility, we um, do monitor them. This is our workstation up here where we monitor the patient. They'll be wearing a heart monitor, and my nurse and all the staff are trained in um, watching their heart rhythms. We will monitor their heart rhythm. We monitor their blood pressures and heart rate. So it's a very supervised program as they come in here. And um, we also do, you know, they, they hate it, but every, every time they come in, they have to weigh. So we, we have a weighing station for them. And the last piece of equipment that's on the far end over here is our elliptical machine. And it, again, is a cardiovascular machine that works the heart and lungs. It's a good alternative also to the pounding of the walking. You don't pound on that machine. Your feet stay in one place. So as they pedal, they are um, taking the, not injuring any orthopedic, their knees or hips or back. So it's a really good alternative also. So that's our, another piece there of our equipment. And that is our facility. Hi, I'm Perry Williamson. We've been serving the Dublin Lawrence community for over 90 years here at Williamson's Bakery. We specialize in donuts, cakes, pies, cupcakes, cookies, birthday cakes. They're our business, not a hobby. And don't forget our large selection of cheese straws. For special orders, contact us on Facebook, Instagram, or better yet, just come get you some. When you stop by, be sure to try our all new Pig in the Blankets. We have bacon, sausage, and chicken. We're located at 1634 Veterans Boulevard, Dublin, Georgia. With the hot, freshest donuts, come to Williamson's Bakery. We proudly support our area athletics. We are back. We've already had a wonderful tour of the facility, the great uh, the equipment that you have and how, how well everything's put together and how it's synced. Talk about um, the patients and the diagnoses that you receive as far as the patients that, uh, that come here. Okay. We, in the cardiac rehab program, um, we will get patients in that have had heart attacks, mm -hmm. um, bypass surgery, stent placement, valve replacement. Mm -hmm. We can have patients that have congestive heart failure. We, um, a new diagnosis that we're really excited about is um, peripheral artery disease, and mm -hmm. that's the disease, the vessels in the legs. And um, we can now accept that per insurance. Mm -hmm. We can accept that as a diagnosis. Right. And so, um, am I leaving any ounce? Well, let me ask this though. You know, insurance is always a big issue. Mm -hmm. You have so many people who have these diagnoses and because of insurance, not able to get the treatment that they need. So tell us about insurance. Okay, the, the cardiac rehab phase two program is covered by insurance mm -hmm. and we always verify that before they start. And most right. major insurances do cover. If we have, they okay. have Medicare or Blue Cross or most major insurances cover the program. Mm -hmm. But I will say also, we offer a self-pay program in here that for mm -hmm. patients who have not had an event yet, right. but want to be um, helped before you know having an event. The patient may have diabetes, they may have high blood pressure mm -hmm. or cholesterol issues. And so they can come in and pay a small fee, kind of mm -hmm. like a gym membership, right. and we can work with them and hopefully give them what they need to avoid having any future heart problems. Very so that's good. the goal of that program. You know, you and I were talking about, you know, the family histories of things, mm -hmm. you know, and some things. And so someone like me who has a family history mm -hmm 
of, of heart disease right. and issues, I would be a good candidate to come for that program. Exactly, exactly. And people have what we call risk factors. There's some risk factors that you can't change, and there's some risk factors you can. One, mm -hmm. you know, that we can't change is um, our age. The older right. we get, the higher our risk factor goes mm -hmm. up. Right. Um, our heredity, if you have mm -hmm. a family history, that's just part of your risk factors. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of risk factors we can change. We yeah. can change how we're, if we're inactive, if mm -hmm. we're um, mm -hmm. not, um, if we're, so if we need to be exercising, if we're not right. eating heart healthy, if mm -hmm. our cholesterol is too high, if our blood pressure is too high, we can work on those things through yeah. exercise, eating right, taking your medications. Mm -hmm. So it's very, it's really important to have the education side of it also along with the supervision. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that education okay. piece because a lot of times we know when we're not doing mm -hmm. right or we know when we're not, you know, getting as much exercise as we should or we know when we shouldn't eat that piece That's of right. cake with yes. that, you know. Yes. And so let's kind of talk about some practical things okay. that the people out there can do to kind of make sure that heart is healthy. Right, right. Well, one thing, of course, one of our biggest components of the program is the exercise. Mm -hmm. If you are inactive, if you are what we call a couch potato, <laughs> we need to get you yeah. up and moving. Yeah. Um, activity is extremely yeah. important. Exercise is extremely important. Our goal for the patients is that they're doing some kind of cardiovascular, like I showed the machines earlier, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 40 minutes five times a week is our goal. When our patients are finished, that's what we're shooting for, okay. that they're doing some kind of cardiovascular 40 minutes five times a week. Mm -hmm. um, and then also doing some light weight training like we right. were talking about. So the exercise is important, being active, being an active person is very important for heart health. Um, another thing is eating heart healthy. And go. one of the things mm -hmm. that we do in here, we do ed nutrition education. We have our dietitian that comes right. in and goes over teaching us how to eat heart healthy. Um, it's just extremely important that we're eating, that we're eating what we need to be eating and yeah. not that big old piece of chocolate cake. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I know, I know. And you know, um, you're talking about eating right, um, and there's no age limit on that. Do, do no. you notice how, um, do, are you getting any younger patients in now? We are. We really get patients that range from the age of 30 all the way to 90. Oh, wow. So we have a big range of patients. Um, our younger patients, a lot of times we'll find it is a lot of lifestyle habits. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. stress. Stress is a huge one. Right. Um, unhealthy eating, lack of exercise, we're behind technology all day long, mm -hmm. we're not moving. Right. So a lot of the younger generation we are seeing from lifestyle, we, what we call lifestyle diseases, that they're mm -hmm. not, you know, the way that we're living is causing yeah. heart heart issues. And what I've noticed sometimes, or even like with the younger, like with the teenagers, where they feel like they're invincible, mm -hmm. you know, where they mm -hmm. can eat this and do that That's and their metabolism right. much faster. And of course, when you get a little older, right, your metabolism is like molasses. Yeah. <laughs> and things yes. that you could eat yes. and, you know, could just kind of work off and, you know, you just right. bring back into shape. Those things change That's with right. our age. That's right. Yes. Yeah. So it is very important to be, to have the education you need, but especially, you know, and again, back to the, the cardiac rehab side right. of it is when, after you do have an event, after mm -hmm. you do have that heart attack, or um, as we were talking earlier, a lot of people are really scared yeah. and they don't know what to do and, and how to do it. And so it's really important that they come in here and we can teach them, this mm -hmm. is what you need to be doing, this is how hard you push yourself, right. um, and give them the example so that when they're finished with us, right. they can continue on living a heart healthy life is and, the goal. And so how long after, let's say that stent's put in, mm -hmm. or how long after they've had open heart surgery, mm -hmm. do they transition here to rehab? Usually with a stent, they can come in two weeks after they've had the stent put in. Mm -hmm. Bypass surgery, um, usually it's around three to four weeks. We just want right. to make sure the incision's healed up real good. Mm -hmm. But they do all get a physician referral before coming in. We Very get that good. physician note before they come in so that we know we can exercise them. But we do find the sooner, the better. If yeah. they can get going, um, the sooner after a procedure, the better. Because mm -hmm. Um, one, we can safely get them exercising, right. and two, a lot, there's an emotional side of it. it is. And if they wait too long, sometimes there's some depression, anxiety, mm -hmm. stress that sets in. Mm -hmm. So it's just really better if we can get them in here sooner. 
And um, when you get them in, how long is their general their treatment? Like how long will they be a part of the rehab facility okay. to do the exercising and things, the monitoring before they're kind of like on their own? Right. To well, typically cardiac rehab is covered by insurance, as we were okay. talking about, and they usually allow for 36 sessions, 12 weeks. Okay. So it's a good three-month program. So it gives them a good long time to get built up, to learn what they need to learn, and then to be able to continue on, you mm -hmm. know, with their with their program. And usually when they come each day, it's about an hour okay. when they come each day. So do you ever have patients to where they've had an incident, you know, a life changing, changing mm -hmm. life altering um, procedure, and they've been here for three months? Then they're gone, mm -hmm. and do they, they come back? Mm -hmm. You know, like you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. We do we do that? yes, we do. We do have some what we call repeat customers, right. um, and you know, with that said, sometimes they do go back to some of their lifestyle habits that were mm -hmm. not as healthy. Right. But sometimes there's some things that we can't avoid, and and with heart disease, once you have heart disease you pretty much always have heart disease and you have to live heart healthy, but sometimes we can't avoid what's gonna happen. But I will say, if you continue to live heart healthy, we have a lot of our patients that will join the fitness center. And I'm so yeah. proud when I go over to the fitness center and I see them in there <laughs> exercising and it is just a great thing. But again, sometimes they still have a repeat incident. They have okay. to go back and have mm -hmm. another stent put in and we can get them back in here again to just yeah. to monitor them and make sure everything's going good before they join the fitness center again. You know, uh, what's great about your facility is the technology now. Mm -hmm. Of course, having some great physicians at Fairview mm -hmm. um, that do great work mm -hmm. um, with patients and then transitioning here. Years ago, you didn't have the you weren't you know you didn't have the things that right. you have now right and it's and a um it's a continuum of care now is right. really what we're striving for and that's what the hospital is striving for with our heart center um the patient will come in if they come in through our er with a heart event and go to mm -hmm. our cath lab and then we want the continuum of care to be able to continue caring for them in our mm -hmm. heart center coming out here to the cardiac rehab that's good so that's really what we've strived to put in place of, yeah. with the whole hospital that's good mm -hmm. and you know it makes you as an individual person when we're listening to you and listening about um, things that we can do to kind of prevent mm -hmm. ever having to come here. Mm -hmm. You know, um, just in the last couple of months, I've lost two of my classmates, brain aneurysm, mm -hmm. heart attack just mm -hmm. a few days ago, another, pa another uh, classmate of mine mm -hmm. passed away. And so that makes me really, you know, think about, wow, okay, right. I've got to make sure that I'm doing what I need to do as an individual right. to make sure that I'm staying healthy. And I will say it's very, very important. And one thing that we all, as the whole hospital, strive to do is have the community learn signs and symptoms. Mm -hmm. People need to know their signs and symptoms of a stroke, of a heart attack. Um, you know, men and women typically present differently. Right. You know, men will a lot of times have that hard, I feel an elephant sitting on my chest or mm -hmm. a striking pain in my chest. Mm -hmm. Women usually have very vague symptoms of heart disease. It's not as, it's not as noticeable. Um, but it's really, really important. And you can get on the American Heart Association website okay. and they have great information on that website um, to explain to make sure you know your signs and symptoms right. of a heart attack. Because we always say that time is muscle. The longer you wait, if you are having a heart attack, mm -hmm. the longer you wait, you're damaging your heart muscle. If you're having a stroke, the longer mm -hmm. you wait, you're damaging your brain. So it's very important that you don't wait and that you get help immediately. Wow. That's extremely important. And with this, uh, with next week being the National Cardiac Rehab uh, Week, there's a lot of things that you can do and learn mm -hmm about how to stay healthy. That's right. And the ones who've had heart attacks, you know, that emotional piece that you were talking about, and you and I kind of talked off camera about it, right. that right there in itself uh, can really set a person back. Right. It Just is. the emotional piece of yes. trying to get past that. Yes, it is. And we see that a lot with our patients, yeah. that we will discuss all these um, physical components right. of what's going on with your blood pressure, your blood sugar, or things like that. But there's a whole nother side of it. And I will say too, in the cardiac rehab program, mm -hmm. for the emotional health side, we have an education class that our social worker from the hospital comes Good. over and do, goes with our patients mm -hmm. and touches on the emotional health side of it because that's a huge side of your health also that a lot of people tend to ignore. Right. So you all, um, are care, you all are covering all of the bases. We try to cover it all so that the patient can be completely healthy when they leave us and, and know how to stay healthy and take care of themselves. Wow. So. The traumatic event takes place. 
the physicians, the nurses, everyone, the care uh, givers at Fairview, come here, cardiac rehab, three months. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. That, and that is such a wonderful thing. This is a great, great facility. And just getting to meet some of the people, and of course meeting you <laughs> for the first time, and the work that you all do, and the care that you have, and the concern that you have for your clients is pretty spectacular. Well, thank you. We do. We love what we do. Um, we always say we're, we have a great part of the job because we get to take care of the patient and, and build them back up and get yeah. them stronger. And when they leave us, um, they're just such a different person than when they first started. And it's just such, it's a very rewarding job. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we do love what we do. You all transform lives. We here. try. You we not do. just save lives, but you transform them because you give them a whole different mindset. One, about life, and two, about uh, themselves as individuals. Mm -hmm. And so and I, think that, I think that we need that anytime we go through something like this. Right. Yes, I do. It. Yeah, you do. You definitely, you don't want to face it alone. Yeah. You don't want to, you know, you want to be in the other. I will add one more thing about the great thing about coming into cardiac rehab is the social environment. Yeah. These patients are surrounded by other people that have had the same thing happen to them that they right. are going through. And it is amazing to watch them because they come in at the same time each day. And so they get, form a group mm -hmm. and they talk and they're concerned when somebody's not here and yeah. they really, it yeah. becomes a little family for them and they really, um, it's a good social network also for them. So it's like a support group. It is a support group. <laughs> That's exactly right. That is part of it. It's That's like a right. support group. Yes, yeah. And you know, I, um, I talk about this a lot about my mom passing away mm -hmm. so young of a massive stroke. Mm -hmm. And um, I always say this, that I believe that if she had the right, you know what I mean, if times were different, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I think that she would still be here. Right, right. And, and it may be, but like I was saying earlier, it's very important for you to know yeah. the signs and symptoms, right. what to look for. If you have a family history, yeah. you need to know. Um, my husband has a family history of heart disease. I mean, his mm -hmm. father died at a very young age of a heart attack. Right. And um, he has a couple uncles that have some heart problems. So it's mm -hmm. very important that you know the signs and symptoms of yeah. you know what's happening and that you know how to live as heart healthy as you can very good very mm -hmm. good all right ladies and gentlemen of course february is heart health month so get uh the wealth of knowledge as much as you can um from the shows that we're doing from the internet the websites make sure that you're reading and make sure that you're making those positive life changes and those lifestyle changes so that you'll still have many many years ahead of you all right miss cook it's been great. I've enjoyed it. We did it. Thank you. We, we did finished it. it up. That's right. I mean, Thank you. Uh, National Cardiac Rehab Week is coming up the second week of February. Um, great facility here at Fairview Park Hospital. Ms. Cook, you girls, your staff, you do a wonderful job. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have for Real Talk, and please keep watching. I'm Anna Grace with Myers Equipment and Supply, your dealer for the complete line of Can-Am side-by-sides and ATV products. For hunting, farming, or riding the trails, Can-Am has the models you need. If you choose the Can-Am Defender side-by-side, -side, which is engineered to maximize a hard day's work on the farm or on a hunt, Defenders offer 20% more torque than its rivals. You can carry 1,000 pounds of payload or tow 2,000 pounds of cargo. You will appreciate Can-Am's precision engineering and industry-leading performance. Come into Myers Equipment today and see the full line of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. Can-Am, the ride says it all.